A powerful explosion followed by a seven-hour gunfight between militants and security forces. Monday's attack on a defense ministry compound in Kabul left several dead and dozens wounded, including journalists and many children. It was a terrible situation. Everyone was scared. I threw myself out of the car's window. My face was covered in blood and my hand got badly injured. The attack began during the morning rush hour when a truck bomb rocked schools and office buildings in the surrounding area. Five gunmen then took up positions in a nearby building, battling with security forces until they were finally killed. The Taliban soon claimed the attack, which came even as the insurgents held peace talks with U.S. officials in Qatar. The talks could bring the withdrawal of foreign troops, which Taliban officials have called a necessary precondition of any ceasefire. That would mark a key step in ending the 18-year-long war in Afghanistan. But many obstacles remain. This seventh round of talks has so far been taking place without the Afghan government. On Monday evening, U.S. and German officials announced that more Afghan representatives will join the talks starting Sunday, opening the possibility of a long-awaited breakthrough.